Okay, thanks for joining today for Yoga Pilates. Let's start by setting our posture, feet under hips, lift up through those legs, lift the rib cage up off the waist, roll the shoulder blades down the back, palms to the front of the room, lift the top of the head up toward the ceiling, and then level your head, lift your chin a little, feel the back of the head over the back of the spine. Big inhale, exhale, two more times. Let's come down to the floor to start our Pilates series. On your back, feet flat on the mat, knees bent, tuck the shoulder blades under. Feel the natural curve of the spine and we'll start by pulling in one knee and then the other. Using the push of your belly button down to your spine to lift that leg up off the mat, head and shoulders still a day, staying down here for now. Exhale as you hug the knee to the chest. And if you'd like, you can lift head and shoulders up to meet that knee squeezing together, pulling the knee toward the nose. Nice. And if you'd like, you can come to the full move, hovering the extended leg, keeping head and shoulders up off the mat, Pull, pull, pull. Belly button push down to the spine to anchor yourself to the mat. Eight, pull, seven, pull, six. Pull, five, four, push the belly button down further to lift the head and shoulders up higher, two, one, and relax. Grab those feet, ankles, or calves for a happy baby. You can rock side to side. That feels good on your back. Extend the legs, tuck your thumbs under. We're gonna come into a double leg lift. So legs are extended, toes are pointed. Inhale, exhale, lift head and shoulders up off the mat. Lift the legs and lower them. Lift and hover. Lift and hover. Lift and hover. Not letting the lower back bow up from the mat. At the bottom of this move. Four. Three, two, one, feet on the mat, rock the knees side to side before we come into our next variation. So for the next variation, you could stick with that or we could kind of change where the difficulty level is. Arms out at a T, palms down on the mat, head and shoulders staying down this time but keeping those arms out, no leverage for the hips. Lift and hover. 
lift and hover. It is a lot harder to maintain that good lower back position without having those hips manually tilted a little. So you may not go as deep, but don't let that spine pop up too much. And lift down and lift down and lift palms flat getting a little bit of leverage against the floor four three two one feet flat on the mat again rock the knees side to side Nice. And now coming into a crunch reach, feet stay on the mat. You can walk them closer to the hips. Inhale, exhale, belly button down, head and shoulders up, reaching those hand fingertips toward the heels. We're gonna reach, reach, reach. So reaching side to side, head and shoulders stay up, belly button stays pushed down, heels close to the glutes, trying to tap that heel, tap, tap, tap. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, and release. Extend the arms, extend the legs, pencil stretch, elongate everything. That was a long series on those abs. So let's change it up now a little and come over into a plank. Hands under shoulders. You can be either knees under hips, in which case we'll walk, walk, walk on the knees or on your toes, walk, walk. So alternate lifting one foot and then the other. Walk. Gaze up toward the edge of your mat. You should see your fingers only in the bottom of your peripheral vision. Top of the head reaching forward. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Sit back, roll your wrists. Second set will be walking side to side or tapping the foot side to side, really. So instead of up and down, side to side, reset, choose knees or toes, tap, 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 tap. Keeping the hips steady, not rolling them side to side. Lift up strong through the shoulders. Think about doming the spine in between the shoulder blades. Tap, 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 tap. Four, three, two, one, sit up or sit back. Roll the wrists one more time before we come into our hold. We'll do two counts of eight. Choose your variation. If your wrists are feeling uncomfortable, you could come down to elbows. Holding here for one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Push back to the child's pose, big toes together, knees apart, arms extended, forehead and nose touching the mat. Nice stretch for the shoulders and the lower back. Coming onto our side, you can use your hand to prop up your head or your arm as a pillow. Hand on hips, knees bent, knees are in line with the hips. So hips, shoulders, knees all in line, feet together coming into this clamshell variation. Hips are stacked, not letting the top hip fall toward the back. Lift, 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 lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bottom leg extended, top leg stays bent. Uh, hand might need to come to the mat because we're going to be doing um, some variations here. So start, start with the toes uh, of the top leg next to the knee of the bottom leg, open here in a clamshell. So toe, uh, foot stays anchored, open, come to the center, open, push that leg back, foot to the mat, open. Center, front, center, anchor that foot to the floor, knee is behind, center, front, Knees aligned, center, back, knees aligned. Front, center, back, center, front, center, back, center, one more set, front, Center, back, center. And now we're going to uh, do a reverse clamshell. So lift the leg up into the air, dip the knee, dip. Bring that knee down to the other side, foot stays up, bottom leg stays extended. You can, oops, well, maybe not. I was gonna say you could bring your hand to your hip if this is easy, but. It's not easy. I'm going to stay anchored to the floor. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side. Starting with those knees bent, knees in line with hips and shoulder, hips stacked, starting with this regular clamshell, feet together, lifting up that knee. Feeling the work happening. And these little muscles here, piriformis, psoas on the outside of the glute. Four, three, two, one. Hand to the mat, extend that bottom leg. Starting with that front side, uh, center. Back, 
center. Front, center, back, center. Keeping the hips stacked. Back, center, front, center, back, center, front, center, back, center, front, center, back, center, two more sets, front, center, back, center, last set, front, center, back, center. Leg up in the air, dip that knee down to meet. You can work on your balance. Down, down, tap the knee down, holding on to the core. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Extend into that pencil stretch again. Take some of the tension out of the body. You can walk your feet or, or rock your hips to get one foot forward than the other. And back to those thumbs under the glutes. We're gonna come up into a butterfly beat. Inhale, exhale, belly button to spine, lift head and shoulders, lift those legs, open the feet into a Pilates V or ballet first position and beat up and down, little butterfly beat. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come back up. Now we're going to lift those legs. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One lower, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Faster, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, eight, and eight. Up, down, one more. And down two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Head and shoulders to the mat, rock those knees side to side, feet on the mat. Coming through to work on our lower back. So roll all the way over. Coming into our Sphinx pose, elbows under the shoulders, hands extended parallel. Hips are resting on the floor, belly is lifted, so we're not collapsing in here. We're lifting up through the shoulders and lifting the belly. Uh, bend the right knee, flex the foot, lift it up off the mat, extend. 
left, lift. Don't let the spine collapse when you're lifting up that knee from the mat. Strong core, keeping the belly lifted. Strong, lifted through the shoulders. Lift and switch. Lift and switch. Lift. Should definitely feel this work happening in the lower back. Shouldn't feel like pain. If it is, you can um, not lift up off the mat. Just pull the leg in. Lift. Lift, lift, two more sets like this, lift, 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 all one leg for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, other leg, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Push back to child's pose. Stretch out that lower back. We'll finish off our Pilates series with our 100s and then come into our yoga series. So back on the back one more time. Knees up at 90 degrees, legs extended. You can be in a Pilates B or first position. You could have legs at 45 degrees or at 90, whatever is comfortable. Inhale, exhale, lift up, pressing the belly button down, head and shoulders up, begin to beat the air. 10, Twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. Seventy. Eighty. Ninety. And one hundred. Grab the feet or ankles. Happy baby. Stretch out the lower back. Rock side to side. And then roll all the way over on the hands and knees. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Strong lift up through the shoulders. Core engaged, straight spine, tuck the toes under. Inhale, exhale, push back. Let the heels float down toward the mat, stretch out those calves. Start your ujjayi breathing, your yoga whisper breath. Walk your hands back towards your feet. Stay in this forward fold, grab a yoga toe hold.
Release the hold, slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. Head last, roll back the shoulders, palms to the front of the room, step to the front of your mat, lift the top of the head up to the sky. Feel that length and height. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, coming back to forward fold. Flat back. Palms to the mat, step or jump back to a plank. Inhale. Exhale, chaturanga, hug the elbows to the ribs. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Roll through the shoulders to bring the head farther down between the arms. Inhale, right leg up, step it between the hands. Step back into warrior one, bringing the left foot to the mat, hips and shoulders square to the front, inhale. Exhale, float down. Warrior two, inhale. Exhale, float. Flip the front palm. Peaceful warrior, inhale. Exhale, float. Extended side angle. Inhale. Exhale, float to the mat. Bring your palms down. Step that right foot back. Chaturanga, up dog, up dog, inhale, left leg, step it forward, right foot to the mat, warrior one, inhale, exhale, warrior two, inhale, exhale, peaceful warrior, inhale, Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, exhale. Palms to the mat, step that foot back. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. We'll go at double speed this time. Moving on each inhale and exhale. Inhale, leg up, right leg up, exhale. Step it forward. Inhale, palms to heart center. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, flip front hand. Exhale, peaceful warrior. Inhale, exhale, extended side angle. Inhale to plank, exhale, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Inhale, left foot, exhale forward. Inhale, palms to heart center, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, flip front palm, exhale, peaceful warrior. Inhale to extended side angle. Exhale, palms to mat. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. One more time. Inhale, right leg. Exhale, warrior one. Inhale, palms to heart center. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, flip front hand. Exhale, peaceful warrior. Inhale and then exhale to extend its side angle. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, warrior one. Inhale, heart center. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, flip hand. Exhale, peaceful warrior. 
Inhale, exhale, inhale, plank, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Hold here for three. Coming back to hands and knees. Get yourself set up, hands under hips. I mean, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Coming into a bird dog hold. Lift the hip of the extended leg and now float it back down until you find parallel. Reaching that arm forward, trying to keep it even with your ear. Top of the head reaching forward. Two more breaths. And switch, extend the leg, extend the arm, lift up that hip and bring it back down until you reach parallel. You should feel your core engage when you get there. I'm trying to have that arm by the knee. Two more breaths. Palms down, knees down, tuck the knees. Push back into down dog. Look up between the hands, step or jump the feet to the hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, first that swan dive. Exhale, palms to heart center. Coming into our balance, we're gonna do a campfire pose today. Start with palms at heart center, rock side to side until all the weight is in your right foot. Lift up the right toes, set them down one at a time, pinky toe first. Bring that left ankle, hook it over above the knee. Inhale and exhale, sitting back into this pose. Trying to bring the elbows down to the leg. You can gently rest the elbow above the knee to get a good hip opening. And rise it up, circle the ankle, hands back to heart center, rock into the left this time, left toes lifting up and setting back down, right ankle hooking above the knee, inhale, lift tall, exhale, start to sit back into this pose. Two more breaths. And rise up. Circle that other ankle. Feet wide for a standing V. Hands at hips. Inhale, lift the face to the sky. A little upper back bend. 
Exhale, reach forward. Coming down, let the hands fall to the mat. Palms face up. Holding the stretch, you can walk the hands back behind you. You'd like. Walk over towards your right, come into a runner's lunge. So turn that right foot parallel and then the left foot. Fists or palms on either side of that foot, reaching the top of the head forward, pushing the back heel back. Feel this nice stretch here. And straighten that leg, bring the toes, the big toes back toward one another, coming back to that V. Turn toward the left, feet parallel, bending the front knee, top of the head forward, heel back. Straighten back into that standing V. Stretch here. Back over to the right. This time, walk that right foot out for a lizard pose. Staying on your back toes if you can. Coming down to your elbows if that's comfortable. Palms down, come back to center, standing V. And lizard on the left, walking that left foot out to make room for your elbows. Continuing to push the back heel back. Keep the knee as straight as you can. Hands to the mat. Come back to that standing V one last time. Clasp the hands behind you if you can. Let them fall forward. Stretch those shoulders. And slowly rise up, walking the feet back together, at the front of the mat, inhale up, exhale forward fold, inhale flat back, exhale plank, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Dropping the knees to the mat, we're gonna come into camel. So kneeling, tuck the toes under. You can bring the hands to the lower back, fingertips facing up and lift the face to the sky. Open the chest, open the throat. Come back to alignment, shake out a little, stay with that variation or grab the heels or full camel, push the hips forward, drop the head back behind you. And come back 
Center, big toes together, knees apart. Push back into child's pose. Rising back into down dog. We are going to do resting half pigeon, hip stretch. Inhale that right leg up. Exhale, bring the knee between the hands. Walk the foot toward the front of the mat. You can walk your back foot back. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, reach forward. You can use your arms as a pillow or let your forehead rest on the mat. Gently rock your hips side to side until you find parallel. Maximize that stretch in the glute and the hip. Hands under shoulders, tuck the back toes, lift that leg up, open the hip, bend the knee. Look for that right heel or that right foot underneath your left arm. Shoulders stay square, big twist at the waist. And back to down dog. This time lift the left leg, bring the knee forward. Walk the foot closer to the front of the mat. Walk the back toes back. Inhale, lift up tall. Exhale, drape yourself forward. Gently rock the hips till you find your spot. Hands under hips, tuck the back toes. Lift up into that three-legged dog, open the hip and the knee, shoulder square. Lifting up the knee as high as you can. Coming back down to down dog. One last calf stretch here. And then walk all the way through, coming down onto your back. Palms face up, walk the right shoulder down and the left shoulder down, right heel down, left heel down. So you're as long and tall as you can be. Inhale, exhale, relax. Let your feet comfortably flop open. Fingers are in a natural curled position. Wiggle your lower jaw and stick your tongue from the roof of your mouth. Eyes lightly closed.
Wiggle fingers, wiggle toes, circle wrists and ankles, and then the other direction. Roll over onto one side, using your arm as a pillow, knees tucked, feet tucked. Push up to a seated position. Palms face down on your thighs. Push the tailbone down into the mat. Lift the top of the head tall. Lots of room for your lungs to inflate. Bring palms to heart center and inhale. Exhale. Inhale, palms to the center of the forehead. Exhale, and if you'd like, you can join me for a bow. Namaste. Thanks for coming. I feel very relaxed. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>